All right, what is up guys? Welcome to part one of my brand new Scratch Flappy Bird tutorial series. By the end of this video, this is what your game will look like. Let's dive in. So first you're just gonna go ahead and open up a brand new Scratch project. Delete the Scratch Cat and then paint a new sprite. We're gonna call this sprite Bird. And then once you do this, you're gonna navigate over to the costume editor. And we're just gonna pick out a nice yellow color for our bird. And then once we pick out this color, we're just gonna make it a little darker. Once we pick, up that, pick out this color, we're just gonna draw a little circle. So zoom in and hold the shift key. This will allow you to make a perfect circle. Once you do this, this needs to be a little bit smaller. So after you do that, just go ahead and center it up after you do this. Just like that. And then now we're gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna make our beak for the bird. So just pick out a nice orange color, just a little bit lighter there. And then just take, make a little semicircle or oval shape for our beak. And then after you do this, we're just gonna bring it back a little bit into the bird. And then next up, we're gonna give our bird an eye. So go ahead to the paintbrush tool, make it size 10, and then just paint a little black dot on the bird there. This will be a nice little eye for our bird here. And next up, we're gonna go back to the circle tool, give it a white fill, and this is gonna be our bird's wing. Just gonna make this a little circle like that. And now just bring it a little bit down, and then go ahead, after you place that, go ahead and click on the reshape tool. And then just drag up a little bit on that left dot. This is gonna give it a nice wing shape. And that is your basic bird for your Flappy Bird game. And then drag out a when green flag clicks block. And then we're gonna say when green flag clicked. We're then going to go to X negative 150, Y zero. Very good. And then go ahead to your variables tab and we're gonna hit on make a new variable. We're gonna call this new variable gravity. This is gonna be for all sprites. Go ahead and hide that. And then underneath your when green flag clicks block, you're going to say set gravity to zero. And then underneath here, we're going to drag out a forever loop. And then inside this forever loop, we're going to change our gravity variable by one. And then after we do this, we're going to change y by gravity times negative one. This allows our bird to go down just like that, it looks pretty realistic. And next up, we're going to add the feature where you can actually flap, which is the purpose of the game. So after you do this, go back to your control tab and then drag out an if then statement. And you're just gonna pop that underneath the change Y by block. And then we're gonna drag in an or operator. And we're going to say if key space pressed or mouse down, this will allow us to tap on the screen for our mobile users who would be coding on an iPad. And then after you do this, we're gonna go ahead and back to our variables tab and we're gonna say set gravity to zero and then change gravity by negative 10. And actually we're gonna take this out of this script because it would cause issues and then we're gonna make another forever loop, snap it over this and then another when green flag clicks block. Then back to the control tab and you're gonna drag out a wait until block and then get a not operator. And then we're gonna say wait until not, key space pressed or mouse down. What you can go ahead and do is just duplicate the key pressed, key, excuse me, key space pressed or mouse down. And then we can test out and see how this works. Awesome, this is looking perfect, just like the real game. And now that we have our basic player um, physics down, we can go ahead and make the pipes. And then go ahead and make a new sprite. We're gonna call this one Pipes. And now for this one, just follow along what you see on the screen to draw your basic pipe. We're just gonna select a nice green color here, a little darker, more saturation here. And then just go ahead and make it the default view, so just zoom out here. And then you're just gonna draw a nice basic longish rectangle here. Actually, we're gonna make this just a little bit darker. And then once you do this, 
we're going to center it up. And I'm going to time lapse through this. So just follow along what you see on the screen. Tweak it a little bit if you want. It just depends on how you want your game to be. Just make a little end part for your pipe there. And then this would be a great time to mention that we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. And that is awesome. We are, I think, at the time of recording, we have 868. So just a few you would need to subscribe and we'll hit that thousand number. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. And after you have that centered up, um, we're gonna go back to the code tab. And now we're gonna try to figure out, okay, so I'm seeing a problem. Our bird is a little bit too big. So just go ahead and we're gonna say, when green flag clicked, we're gonna set our size to 80. And we're very likely going to have to make our bird smaller as the video goes on. But for now, we're gonna stick with 80. So it can fit through the pipe easily, as you can see here. And then we have that working good. And then we're gonna go back to the costume tab. We're just gonna make the ends of the pipes a little bit darker to make it more aesthetically pleasing. So it'll just be a little prettier for, I guess, the viewer or the player, whoever you wanna call it. And then once you do this, um, we're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna code this pipe. Just figuring some location stuff out real quick. And then after you do this, go to the costume tab again, and we're just gonna make a clear, transparent rectangle over the entire thing. This may seem weird, but it will overcome the scratch stage boundary hack, so our pipe can smoothly go off the screen and it will look perfect. So as you can see here, um, we're just gonna go off the screen here just to find out our coordinate here. So it looks like it's gonna be X265, so just drag out a when green flag click block, and we're gonna say go to X265, Y, zero. And then underneath this, we're gonna say hide, and then drag out your basic forever loop. Wait three seconds, and then we're going to create a clone of myself, which is gonna make a copy of this pipe, this right that we just made. Drag out a when I start as a clone block, and then we're underneath this, we're going to say repeat and tell, we need to repeat until the pipe is off the screen enough. So we're gonna say repeat until X position is less than negative 265. Just drag that little thing into there, just like that. And then we're gonna change X by negative five inside this repeat until. And then at the end of this, we're not gonna use the hide block this time because it would lag our game with all those clones. So we're gonna use the delete this clone block instead. And we're just gonna, don't forget to add a show block or else you wouldn't be able to see the pipes. And then we're gonna say, set Y to pick random. And now we need to figure out a range for this. We're gonna try negative 80 to 80. So we're gonna say, after you start as a clone and after you show up, set Y to pick random, negative 80 to positive 80. This is gonna make it uh, more interesting so the pipes can be all over the screen instead of just that one spot. And now hit the green flag and test it out and boom, you can see it's working great. And just one thing I'm noticing is the pipes are moving a little too fast and the bird is too big. So that's the next problem we're gonna fix. And then here we go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and set, set our size to 60% for our bird. And then we're gonna say change X by negative three for our pipes. This is gonna slow it down a bit, just make it easier. And in the later tutorials, we're gonna figure out how to make it more advanced where the pipes speed up as we go along, but for now we're gonna keep it basic. And this is looking good, but actually the bird is too small, so we're gonna adjust the size one more time. We're gonna say, set the size to 70. And this is gonna be our locked in size for our bird. We're not gonna make any more changes to that for now. So um, after you do this, just test it out a little bit, see how it feels. And it's looking good. And before we wrap up the tutorial, we're just gonna make a nice blue background for our sky. And the later tutorials, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for those because we're gonna add super cool features like scrolling backgrounds, we're gonna add score, we're gonna make a text engine for the score, it's gonna be awesome, and you are not gonna to wanna to miss that. So stay tuned for those. And actually, one more thing I forgot to mention, we're gonna make it so if we're touching the pipe or the edge, obviously the game's gonna end. So we're gonna say, if touching pipes, then we're going to use the control block, stop all. And then it's in the control tab, so just say stop all. And so this is going to make it where if we're touching the pipes, we're going to stop everything in our game. Just like that. But we're also going to want, if our bird touches the edge, we're going to want the game to stop. So this is a simple fix. You're just going to go back to that spread code you just made. 
we're going to say if touching pipes or touching edge. Then we're going to stop all. Just touching edge right there. And then we can test it out to see how it works. And then, so we can go through here and do the pipes. Oh, so it works. And if we touch the edge, it works as well. Perfect. And then now we're going to go ahead and make our basic blue background. Just have a nice light sky blue color and yeah, just drag it all over there. It just needs to be a little bit lighter. Bring that saturation down a touch. And then just try and run it up. And it's looking great. And anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is going to be it for part one. And stay tuned for part two coming out soon. Um, you know what, let's say, what do y'all think? Um, yeah, we can try to make a new part every week. So stay tuned for part two coming your way very soon. It might even be sooner, so you're going to want to subscribe. Love you, bye.